Hi there, Will Rice with the Tips team, bringing you another quick tip. Today we're going to be talking about the Meet link that's added in Google Classroom. If we open a Google Classroom where the Meet link is enabled, we'll see a link here at the top. This link is a shortcut code that is used for students and staff to enter a meet at the appropriate time to do some online learning. As you can see, it ends in a code that starts with ATV. Each time you click this link, it should generate a Google Meet that is unique to that instance. In this case, it has created a Meet that starts with QEX. This is important because each time you click the link, it should generate a new Meet with a different unique code. This is what allows you to have students not enter the Meet prior to you joining it and having a Meet end when you end it. It's actually ending the code so that it can no longer be used. If we join a meet, we can see that the nickname will still point to this meet and can only be used with an EPS, but this code is different. Once all students have left and we end this meet, this meet should be done, preparing the link for the next time we click it to generate a new, a unique meet ID. However, clicking the link quickly or having other extensions installed that may keep that link active may mean that when we click this link the next time, it will actually go back to the same code as we can see here. It can take up to a minute for that code to die. So let's close this and just wait a few minutes. As we can see, clicking the link after a period of time generates a new meet with a new unique ID. This sets up a brand new meet that students cannot enter until you join. The only issue with this is if that meet link does not change and you've had to manually remove any students at the end of a meet, they will not be able to re-enter that same meet ID. So if students are reporting that they cannot join a meet and it's a student that you've had to remove from a meet, a good idea would be to check that this ID has changed or to regenerate the nickname link in Google Classroom. This can be completed by clicking the, th the cog in the top right, scrolling down to the Meet section, clicking on the drop down arrow, and clicking Reset. Students will still be able to find this link in Classroom Banner, but now when they click it, this will definitely go to a new link, as we can see here. Hopefully this has helped clarify a few things about how Google Classroom Meet links work, and will help you troubleshoot if you have additional problems.